All right, our last speaker to this morning is Emily Westergaard. Round of applause. <laughs> Emily is the CEO of the By Degrees Foundation. The, non-pro- the nonprofit partners with whole schools to increase high school graduation and post-secondary readiness rates on Des Moines' north side. She has led the organization since 2010. I think maybe my fir- one of my very first stories that I ever wrote was actually interviewing you for a, a story about the, the organization, so it's fun to see things come full circle. Before that, she worked in fundraising roles at Drake University and the World Food Prize Foundation. She volunteers for the Broadlands Medical Center Foundation Board, the City of Des Moines Housing Services Board, and the Polk County Early Childhood Iowa Board. She was a member of the 2015 40 Under 40 class. And if you go over your time, you get to dye the color of your hair blue to match your team's logo. So we'll, we'll see you around town. Please give Emily a big round of applause. I, uh, I think my punishment is going last and going after the funniest person here, so <laughs> yes. Uh, but thank you so much, I'm so glad to be here. I'm gonna touch on three ideas this morning. Number one, and the biggest, invest in kids and public education. Nearly everything that we have talked about today, yeah, nearly everything that we have talked about today is going to be a lot more difficult if we don't all put a lot more effort into growing our next generation of students, leaders, employees, and entrepreneurs. We have a diverse, talented pipeline of students right here in central Iowa. So identify ways that your business, or you personally, can strengthen local public schools. Advocate for stronger public education funding, even if you don't have kids or they're not in public schools. By Degrees works with businesses and corporations to introduce students and families to all the different education and career pathways that are out there after high school. And we start those conversations in elementary school, giving kids the tools they need to work towards those long-term goals. ADM, Archer Daniels Midland, invested in By Degrees so that we could create programs to help our students learn about all the types of jobs related to agriculture. Central College invests in bringing students in elementary school to their campus to help them explore majors and campus activities and learn what opportunities are available to them after after post-secondary education. Whatever business you're in, whatever industry, your future success is tied to public education. So invest in giving kids more options. Number two. Broaden exposure. By Degrees works at Findlay Elementary, Harding Middle, and North High School. We start taking students on college visits and career visits in kindergarten. Every year, students at our school get to experience a day in the life of a college student or learn about registered apprenticeships in the trades or shadow a doctor to learn more about clinical practice. By broadening their exposure and starting early, we help students start to identify with those future options. A fourth grader that spends the day touring University of Iowa's dental school or their performing arts center can start to believe that one day they could go there, and they'll keep that goal in mind as they get older. So consider ways that you could broaden exposure with your workforce. Imagine marketing interns getting to shadow the legal team, or a call center representative collaborating with the compliance office. By helping employees learn about lots of different opportunities within your company, you'll find yourself with a more aligned workforce. Just like one of our students who never thought that college was for them because they didn't know anyone that had ever gone to college, maybe your marketing intern is actually a really great accountant, they just never thought about it. And my third point this morning is to give shout outs. Every morning at Findlay Elementary, we start the day with all 300 students in a morning meeting. It helps us set the tone for the day, Uh, provides a moment to make sure every kid and adult there hears that they matter and that they have important work to do. We also invite students to give shout outs. Shout outs remind us to be grateful and to recognize when someone does something helpful. A shout out from a fourth grader yesterday as I was there was to her friend for helping her with fractions. Another student gave a shout out to her classmate for inviting him to sit with him when they didn't know anyone at the beginning of the year. Uh, I promise you it's also a really great way to start your next day or your meeting. So I I want you to think about ways that you could start your next meeting with a few shout outs and watch how you and your colleagues feel recognized and seen. Notice how it changes the timbre of the rest of the meeting. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna say I have a shout out and then you'll say shout out. 
We'll try it. I've got some board and colleagues around here that are going to keep us together. I have a shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Chris and Emily for uh, moderating what is uh, turning out to be a really great activity this morning. I have a shout out. Shout out to my fellow panelists. Uh, I have been loving reading and writing all of your uh, notes down, and I just love all of the, the creative ideas that we have this morning. And last one, I have a shout out, shout out to all of you for showing up today and for wanting to learn and grow and take something that you heard here and make it your own. Thank you.